Hi kids, so today's activity, we're gonna plant some seeds. I'm so excited. So I went to our classroom last week and I cleaned some things out and I brought home our big um, things, our big pots of um, dirt that was outside. And um, so they're in my backyard now. And then I brought home our seed starting kits, which is really cool. So the first seeds that we have are called marigolds. And on the back right here, it has information about the seed, how long it takes to grow, and, and so forth. So it says days to germinate is anywhere from 10, uh, 7 to 10 days, which means that's how long it takes for the seeds to sprout and for it to start to pop out of the dirt, anywhere from 7 to 10 days. And then it says the depth to sow the seed, which is how far you put this, the seed into the dirt, and it says a quarter of an inch. Um, seed spacing is um, two to three inches, so you want to plant your seeds about two to three inches apart. Um, they're going to grow about two to three feet, and, um, and that it's an annual. An annual means you have to plant them every single year. A perennial means that they come back every year, and you only have to plant them once. And then a biennial is a plant that you plant every other year. So you plant it one year, it comes back the next year, and then you have to plant it again for the following year. So this is an annual, and it's something you have to plant every year. So the other things that we have are cherry tomatoes and cucumbers. Mm -hmm. And these are carrot seeds in here. These are carrot seeds. They're rainbow. It's a rainbow blend. So some of the carrots might be purple or yellow or orange. Um, these ones are Cosmos and Daisies. And these ones are Strawberries and Clover. So I have so in here we're gonna we're gonna plant some of these things. I've got a couple of tools. I've got a shovel or a, um yeah, a little hand shovel. I believe that's what these are called. And these are called point tip shears. Okay, so we need that to groom the plants once they grow. These are little fertilizer sticks, so it helps you put it in the dirt and it helps it grow and gives it nutrition. Um, these are little wires to help tie up um, anything that um, is a vining plant. Um, these are little plant labels that we can write on it, carrots or whatever, so that we can put it in the dirt and know what we're growing. Um, I'm going to find a good place to hang this outside. It's a temperature thermometer and tells us um, how hot it is inside or outside, depending upon where it is. And that's very important when it comes to flowers and knowing when to plant things. And then I also bought a rain gauge. So this also goes outside and you stick it outside and the water falls in it and it can tell you how much rain we got that day. So I'm going to put these outside next to our plant. The other thing that I have is some rulers. And these are really fun rulers. So this has a radish at the top, but it's just a ruler from one to seven. Um, this one has peas. This one has carrots. This one has strawberries. And this one has tomatoes. And we're going to just kind of use some of these um, as we plant and as our plants grow to see how tall they are. Okay? So, um... Well, that looks like super fun. Um, the other thing that we have here is a watering can. And when you use it, it sprinkles water out of it. Okay. So we're going to use these to water our plants outside, which is super fun. And while our plants are growing inside, because the small little seedlings have to grow inside so that they don't get hurt, we're going to use these little trays to stick the seeds in it so that water doesn't get everywhere all over my house. So let's get started. I'm so excited. Okay, so I think we're going to start with our cherry tomatoes and cucumbers. And we're going to open up this little box inside. Ooh, and here's here's the the seeds so this one says cherry tomatoes on it and it says that 
There's five to eight seeds in here. And this one is the cucumbers. And it says that there is, it doesn't say anything else. Okay, so what we're gonna do on here, it gives us the instructions. Three easy steps, okay? And so that's what we're gonna follow. It says, sow the seeds, water and sun the seeds, and watch it grow, okay? So it says, dissolve and grow the medium pellet into five tablespoons of water and fluff with a fork, adding more water if needed, divide the growing medium evenly among the six cups. So this is the medium, it's really thin, and I'm gonna watch, we're gonna watch it grow, okay? And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna divide it into these six spaces, okay? So let's do that first. Okay, so I grab some water <clears throat> and we're going to put this in here and whoop, I don't know if I should have done that. Look at all that dirt. Okay. Just see, do you watch it fluffing up? Okay, so we're going to put, I'm going to put a little bit, I don't know what I'm doing. Oops. We're gonna crumble it up a little bit and we're gonna put it in these box things. I think I'm gonna, ugh. Okay, let's see here. We need a little bit more water. I just don't think I did it right with things. I'm going to pause our video. Okay, so I went and grabbed a tablespoon. And so I'm going to scoop the water in here. And I'm going to add it um, inside the little things. Because... Um, I don't really know what else, how else to do this. So, I'm gonna put some water on it, and it's supposed to hydrate the soil because it was compacted. And so, we're just gonna hydrate it up a little bit so we can plant in there. I'm gonna do this and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have fluffed and put the dirt in our thing. So now we're gonna take, it says to sprinkle three to four seeds in our, in each cup. Okay, so these are the cucumber seeds. You see that they're kind of like a little oval. And so I'm gonna take three seeds and put them in here, three seeds and put them in there, and three seeds and put them in there. So I sprinkled them on top. Mm. Okay, so now we're going to take the tomato seeds. We're going to pour them into my hand and they are very small. And we're going to take three to four of those and put them in the other cup. So they don't get stuck underneath my net. One, two, um, okay. So you can't see these ones as well. They're a darker color, but we have three in this one, two in this one, and two in this one. So now I'm going to lightly cover the seeds with the soil so that we hide the seeds down into the dirt. Okay. 
Okay. It's all covered. I hope that none of the seeds got stuck under my fingers because that would be sad. But now we're going to put just a little bit more water on these. And we're going to stick them in the window inside a cup. I'm going to do that for our strawberry and, and clover and our other ones, which are cosmos and daisies. And I'll be right back. Okay, so we are finished with planting our seeds. We've got cosmos and daisies over here. We have clovers and strawberries right here. We have cucumbers and tomatoes right there. And then right here we have marigolds. Okay, and we're going to plant the carrots outside in our thing in a different video. So this is day one, and we're going to see what happens as our garden grows. All right, see you guys later. Bye.